So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, Kirk here again, and welcome back to The Daily Call. On today's Daily Call, we're going to talk about how you determine break-even points for naked calls and puts. So this really gets down to, I guess, the basics of options trading, and something that I don't think actually even people who have traded options before remember, sometimes you forget because I get emails from people and they say, Kirk, I'm you know trying to figure out you know where my break even points are. And it just comes back down to really actually just simple math and maybe sometimes just slowing down and not rushing through the process. But in the case of naked calls and puts, and we'll start with naked calls to start again with all naked option selling or all option selling in general, you take in a credit and that credit is then used as the basis for helping to determine where your break-even points are. So in the case of a naked call, let's say that the stock is trading at $95, you sell a naked call at $100 and take in, or a 100 strike, but you take in a $3 credit. Now, obviously your option technically goes in the money, if the stock goes from 95 to anything above 100. So let's say it's, it starts going up and it goes to 101. So it's rallied from 95 to 101. You sold the 100 strike calls. So technically that option contract is in the money. Now, most people would just quickly close the position, which is the wrong thing to do, or they would try to use a stop loss or something like that, fearing that they might be assigned or they might be at risk of assignment. But again, your break even point is actually the strike price of the short strike you sold, so the 100 strike price, plus the credit that you took in. So in this case, for the naked call option that we're using as an example, we took in a credit of $3. So we add $3 to our short strike price, and that makes our break-even point for a naked call 103 on the actual stock. So if the stock rallies above 103, that's the point at which we actually start losing money. If the stock rallies to 101, we actually still made money. We made $2 on that trade, assuming it's at expiration, because the stock rallied to 101. So basically, you know, we have an option contract that's in the money by a dollar, but we collected $3. So we still make our $2 profit on that. So again, that's why break-even points are really important for factoring in um, and determining as you make your trades. So you know exactly where you make or lose money. And it doesn't necessarily have to be when the stock goes in the money or not. Now on the naked put side, just to use that example, let's say the stock is again trading at $95. We sell the 90 strike put option below the market and again, collect $3. Now in the case of a naked put, you determine your break even point by taking your short strike price. So $90 in this case, and you subtract the credit that you received because you're selling puts. So you subtract the credit that you received. And now you take that $3 credit off of 90 and you're left with a break even point of $87. So again, if the stock falls and let's say it falls to $89, so it goes $1 in the money, you still have the ability to make $2 on that trade because your break even point is $87 and the stock is only trading at $89. Now, in the case of combining these two, and because we only talked about in this example, just a single naked call versus a single naked put. But let's say now that you actually, and we'll take it a step further in this, let's say that you actually now sold the strangle. So you sold the naked call and the naked put. You sold the calls for $3. You sold the puts for $3. Now you have this collective $6 premium. Now you still take that $6 premium and add or subtract it to your short strikes. And what that does is it moves your break even points that much further out on either end. So now you add $6 to your 100 strikes, you're at 106, you subtract $6 from your 90 strike put. So you're basically at 84. Now you've got a much wider range that the stock can fall into because you've taken in these additional credits. So hopefully this podcast has been helpful. Again, I know it's something that oftentimes maybe gets missed or you slips over and you just don't really think about it that way. But maybe using this example just kind of brings that back to home and helps you understand how different strategies work, especially as you start using more advanced strategies like iron butterflies and short straddles. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. And until next time, happy trading. 
Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.